Good afternoon, everyone. Jet stream shifting, low strange pressure developing, record heat coming to the western United States, but eastern Canada and the U.S. snow. Taking a look at the 35,000 cows that died in the snowstorm just a week ago. And trying to search for these unusual snows in May in Arizona, I could not find it on the search engines. I had to go back to Oppenheimer Ranch's video to actually find the link for this. Ungoogleable. U.S. Department of Agriculture, Crop Bulletin, Winter Wheat Condition, Very Poor, Poor, Fair, Good, and Excellent. Huge changes from last year. Oat planting percentages, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, dismal. Barley percentages, same states, extra dismal, 1%. Spring wheat planted, wait, that's almost four times lower than the average. The other thing that has been happening throughout this time is that the lava lake here at the summit has continued to drain or, or drop in elevation at a very steady rate. This morning, we put out another public statement noting that as the lava lake reduces in, in elevation and recedes to within the volcano, there is concern about the eventual intersection of that lava column with the level of the groundwater table below Kilauea's summit. At that time, it is permissive that water will flush into the system of hot rocks that are remained, and we may move into a period of repeated phreatic explosions or steam-driven explosions. This is behavior that it was observed at the volcano during a similar drawdown of a lava lake in 1924. So this public notice that went out this morning was to call attention to that concern and uh, say something about the uncertainties about that process and also the hazards that could be associated with that process, which uh, include far, far downwind ash fall and near field uh, ballistic blocks that uh, can be flung out during these explosions. Within an hour or so of putting out that notice, we did have a fairly large explosion from within the evacuated vent uh, or lava column that has been drawing down now for more than a week. And we think based on field observations that were done immediately uh, that what happened is there was a small earthquake nearby. It may have prompted a large rock fall deep down into the crater that then prompted an explosion from the remaining lava lake surface. And that's based on looking at the characteristics of the pro projectiles, excuse me, characteristics of the tephra that came out and fell around the rim of the crater. So I think it's our best estimation that this is, this is the first of, of perhaps more events like that to come. And I think the question that a lot of people want to know is what's next. Uh, for the time being, it's too soon to say that we're, we're going to see uh, any cessation of activity in the Lower East Rift Zone, even though there may be a pause. There's still a fair bit of magma right underground that's available to erupt. And based on historic activity in the Lower East Rift, that's certainly possible. And here at the summit, as I said, uh, the prognosis is if the lava column continues to recede, we may move into a period of these steam-driven explosions.